While we know that the autocrat billionaire brothers from another mother badly wanted to improve U.S.-Russia relations, it seems like it's not going quite that way. The Senate has approved tough new sanctions for Russia, and now the bill heads to President Trump's desk. The bill was passed by an overwhelming 98 to 2 vote. It gives Congress the power to block the president from easing sanctions against Moscow. Yeah. Not only did they put sanctions on Russia, they've effectively put sanctions on Donald Trump. That's what they've done. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a strange thing when you think about it. Because... It's almost like Congress is these parents going like, we don't want you playing with that boy anymore. <laughs> I cannot wait to, he to see him sign that, because he loves them. He's gonna be like, and this one, folks, is gonna be here, uh, me protecting America from myself. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. And by the way, it wasn't even close. Uh, not only did the sanctions pass the Senate by 98 to 2, uh, in the House, uh, the vote was 419 to three. Yeah. That is insane. Everyone in Congress went up against Russia like it was Ted Cruz. <laughs> like, do you want to know... You want to know how much they hate Russia? Just for yourself, imagine how you'd feel if Jar Jar Binks starred in Godfather 3. That's how much they hated. <laughs> it's like the hatred of everything. Misa thought I was out, but they are pulling me back in. <laughs> Actually, I want to watch that movie now. No. <laughs> So, uh, Congress hit Russia with more sanctions, and, uh, if you know anything about Russians, when you hit them, they always hit back. Russia is ramping up its retaliation against the U.S. over new sanctions. Russian President Vladimir Putin told the U.S. yesterday to slash its staff in Russia by 755 people. The U.S. will also lose access to a storage facility and its beautiful country house and leafy property on the outskirts of Moscow. What? Wait, so, so Russia retaliated against the new sanctions by taking America's country house? Man, it really, it really does feel like Trump and Putin are getting divorced. <laughs> okay, Donald, I'm taking the country house. Not the country house, no! <laughs> no! We just renovated the bathroom! I know, and I'm sure Syria will enjoy the heated toilet seat. You bastard! <laughs> I picked it out myself! And... They're not just taking the country house. Russia is also raising an army-sized middle finger to the West. The New York Times reporting Moscow will soon begin conducting massive military drills near several NATO members, drills that could include as many as 100,000 Russian soldiers. The drills believed to be a show of force and intimidation. Now, I, I know it's really serious, you know, the military drills that take place, but when you think about it, military drills are just, like, geopolitical versions of gangs driving by their rival gang's turf. <laughs> That's all it is. You just go to the border and then you give each other dirty looks. You're just, like, sitting there in the car. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Because that's all I can picture when they go, like, the Russians are at the border intimidating the other side. I'm just picturing Russians driving around in their Impalas, you know? <laughs> just look... And you know, an important part of the drive-by is the music, you know? So Russia's playing their music full blast as they're driving by. Din, 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 din. <laughs> That's not hydraulics. The cause is really in Russia. <laughs> and, and, you know, like, right now, I don't... Like, I don't know if the U.S. can afford to get into another Cold War. Because uh, the, the scary news is there may be a hot one that is starting right around the corner. North Korea is making far greater progress on its missile program than officials ever imagined. Their second test of an intercontinental ballistic missile in the past month, traveling farther than any missile they have ever launched. The North Korean ICBM blasted 2,300 miles straight into space, but experts fear that North Korea could angle the missile to potentially travel as far as Washington, D.C., or New York. And flight to Africa booked. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you, but this is starting to scare me. They have a missile that can hit New York. Like, if it can make it here, it can make it anywhere. <laughs> I, I will say, though... I will say, though, the joke's on Kim Jong-un. Because if he tries to send a missile to New York, we'll all have time to evacuate because the missile will get stuck in traffic in the Lincoln Tunnel. 
It's just gonna be there trying to get through. The easy pass won't be working. I can picture the toll booth lady now. Listen, Mr. Missa, I don't care what you say, where you were saying. If you don't got your money, you gotta back up, okay? No, you gotta back up, baby. I don't, yeah, everybody threatens to blow up on me. You need to go back, get your easy pass working and move on. Okay, bye-bye now, bye-bye. Uh, first question, how did North Korea get a nuclear missile? They don't have sandwiches. Like, what country develops an ICBM before they get a BLT? And, and, and as much as we joke, North Korea having the ability to launch a nuclear weapon is, it's serious. It is a serious thing. In fact, before President Obama went kite surfing, he warned Trump that North Korea would be the biggest threat to the United States. And obviously that was before he knew about Scaramucci and stuff, but still, <laughs> but still, he warned him. So now, as much as I hate to admit it, it's all in the hands of Donald Trump. Like, I just, I hope that he has a well-thought-out plan We'll handle North Korea. We're going to be able to handle them. It will be, uh, it will be handled. We handle everything. Thank you very much. And flight back to Africa, books. 